Today I have a very special story to tell. It's about a man with a wonderful house and an even more wonderful yard. So sit back and watch the magic unfold in this book called Watchful Eyes. Watchful Eyes, a story written and narrated by Tom Steber. Joe Sims had just bought an old house on Hastings Street. Now retired, he wanted a place that he could transform into his own personal dreamland. A place where his inner child could explore, roam, and express himself in a way that he'd always wanted to. Joe went right to work with his vision, changing the old worn-out look of his project house into something enchanting. This was something new and positive on Hastings Street, a revitalizing of the locale, one that was long overdue. Joe's neighbors were all too happy to see the old place cleaned up and waved back with approval. Joe was about to meet his neighbors. Ah, hello there, I'm Vincent Sharp and this is my wife Misty. We're your neighbors from across the street. Joe seemed pleased to meet them. Well, that's wonderful of you to drop by. Please, come on in. I'm Joe Sims. We love what you're doing with this old place, Joe. The last occupants really let the place go. Yes, most of the houses on this block have seen better days. And some of your neighbors as well. I'm getting to that point as well. <laughs> I'm retired now and I've always wanted to have a home that was its own getaway. So this little yard is my sweet project. I picked up this gazing globe in Mexico about 20 years ago. It came from an old churchyard that was selling off old things they'd accumulated. They told me the globe was special and would bring fortune. I suspect that was a line to get me to buy it, but what can I say? I guess I fell for it. And who is this little fellow? Oh yes. That's Tripper. He's been my little friend for as long as I can remember. My grandparents gave him to me when I was a very young man. I don't know what the value of something like this is, but to me, it's priceless. Yes, Joe seemed very happy to show off his collection to Vincent and Misty. A huge smile on his face showed serenity and peace. <laughs> this is the land of the Fae. My fairies always bring me happiness. I return the favor by giving them the shade of the tree. <laughs> they seem to drive away the, the mosquitoes and wasps as well, always using their magic for good, you see. But come, I must show you this. Joe's yard friends were many, each with their own stories and anecdotes. Meet Giuseppe. As a child, I had one of these toy monkeys, and although he gave me a slight case of the creeps, I was entranced by his loud squawking chatter and his noisy cymbal banging. I had this statue made to remember those old childhood days. He's perfect, Joe. But I really must say something here. Uh, you see, this neighborhood, it's, it's a lot like your childhood. His best days are behind it. This area has been going downhill. There's a lot of drug use, crime, and vandalism happening here. Exactly. Our car was broken into just last month, and we had to repaint the side of our house after somebody tagged it with offensive graffiti not long before that. I think we're just worried that you may be inviting a similar reaction with your yard. I'd really hate to see Giuseppe stolen or smashed, or your fountain to be knocked over or spray painted. Right? And maybe add some more security lights. At night, your whole yard looks pretty dark. Well, you might have a point about the lights, but I'm not going to live my life in fear about what others might do. This house and this yard are what I've always wanted to do, and I won't let drug addicts or thieves scare me away from my little piece of paradise. Either Joe was stupid, or he knew more about the place's magic than he let on. That's great, Joe. Yeah, good luck to you. We both wish you the best. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the neighborhood. A few days later, Joe met Vincent again. Hey there, Joe. The yard's looking great. What you got there? Oh, this? Just a pedestal I'm measuring to make sure I got the right size. I have a custom-made sundial for it, but I have to go pick it up out of town. I should be back in a couple of days. Ah, okay. Say, would you like Misty and I to look over your place while you're out? You know it's a good idea to have a set of watchful eyes keeping a lookout for you. I'd take you up on that, but I have a good friend who will be watching the house while I'm gone. But thank you for the offer. Glad to help if I can. Well, you have a great day, Joe. See you around. Three days later, Joe came home. But what was this? Why were the police at his house? Joe got out to find out. 
Hello? I'm Joe Sims. I live here. What's going on? This your place, huh? Have you been away? Yes, I was out of town for three days picking up a piece of artwork for the yard. I thought so. Seems this guy was up to no good. We know him from previous burglary calls. Looks like he stumbled in the dark and, well, you can see what happened, unfortunately. Of course, Joe had nothing to do with the accident, and the police cleared him of any wrongdoing. When their investigation was completed, they left him to his property. Thanks for watching over the place, Tripper. Any time, Joe. Yes, Sims good Joe Sims old friend Tripper came through in the end. Gnome, more to say about it. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Farewell.